जय राधा माधव पुण्य बिहारी
तस्मात् परमं जपे ब्राजक चार्य अष्टतर सरस्वान भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती भूषामी प्रोपाद की जय अनंत कोटि वचन मिल की जय रामाचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवाचार्य गोल भक्त मिल की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गो गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जय वृंदावन धाम की जय नवद्वीप धाम की जय गंगा माय की जय जमुना माय की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय स्वामी तो भक्त बिंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरी श्री असमल गॉड ऑल ग्लोरी श्री असमल ऑल ग्लोरी श्री असमल थैंक यू वेरी मच Third chapter, verse number seven. That's all I need. Third chapter. Third chapter. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Dvitiyam, Dvitiyam, Tu, Bhavayasya, Rasatala, Gautam, Mahim, Udarishyan, Upadatta, Jagyesha, Sokaram, Vapu, Tvitiyang tu bhavayasya, Tvitiyang tu bhavayasya, Rasata lagatam mahim, Rasata lagatam mahim, Udarishyan upadatta, Udarishyan upadatta, Jagyeshak sokaram vapu, Jagyeshak sokaram vapu, Dvitiyam tu bhavayasya, Dvitiyam tu bhavayasya, Prasata lagatam madhim, Prasata lagatam madhim, Uddarishyan upadatta, Uddarishyan upadatta, Jagyeshak shokaram vapu, Jagyeshak shokaram vapu, Dvitiyam tu bhavayasya, Dvitiyam tu bhavayasya, Prasata lagatam mahim, Prasata lagatam mahim, Udarishyan upadatta, Udarishyan upadatta, Jagyeshak sokaram vapu, Jagyeshak sokaram vapu, Dvitiyam tu bhavayasya, Prasata lagatam mahim, Udarishyan Upadatta Yagyecha Shokaram Vapu Vityam Tu Bhavayasya Rasata Lagatam Mahim Udarishyan Upadatta Yagnesha Sukaram Vipu Yagnesha Sukaram Vapu Vityam tu bhavayasya Satalagatam mahim Satalagatam mahim Udarishyan upadatta Udarishyan upadatta Yagneshak sokaram bapu Yagneshak sokaram bapu Vityam tu bhavayasya Prasada lagatam mahim Udarishyan upadatam Yagnesha sokaram vapu Yagnesha sokaram vapu Vidyam tu bhavayasya Vidyam 
Second, to, to but, but bhavaya, bhavaya for welfare, for welfare. Asya, asya of this earth, earth. rasatala, the lowest, the lowest. Gotam, Gotam, having gone, having gone. Mahim, Mahim, the earth, earth. Uddarishyan, Uddarishyan, lifting up, lifting up. Upa, upadatta, upadatta, established, established. Jagyesha, the proprietor or the supreme enjoyer. The Sokaram, Sokaram, hoggish, vapu, vapu, incarnation, incarnation. Translation: The supreme enjoyer of all sacrifices accepted the incarnation of a boar, the second incarnation, and for the welfare of the earth, he lifted the earth up from the nether regions of the universe. So, this universe. This universe is uh, filled up with water, half. Whatever we have seen, this is only half, like this. <clears throat> the other half we cannot see. So within this water, sometimes that Hiranyaka, demon, uh, drown this whole earth within this water. So, uh, at the present moment we cannot find such demons, but there were demons like that. Uh, the whole planetary system is floating but there may be some demon who can take one of them and put within the water. The, the planets are floating, that is known to everyone. <clears throat> uh, we can see, actually, there's such a big, gigantic mass, even the sun, which is 1400 thousand times bigger than this heart. <coughs> and that is also floating in the outer space. Uh, the support is ananta. They say law of gravitation. We say sankarsan. 
Shankarshan. So he is holding every planet, and it is said that all these uh, universes are resting on the foot of uh, Sesanāk, just like a, a small grain of uh, mustard. So when we speak of God is great, we cannot imagine how great He is. We apply frog philosophy, Dr. Frog's philosophy. Dr. Frog thinks, because he is in the well of three feet, if he is given the information, oh, there is a big mass of water, Atlantic Ocean, he cannot believe it. He will think in terms of the well. The well is three feet, so he may think, all right, Atlantic Ocean may be four feet. All right, five feet. Come on, all right, six feet. So this Dr. Frog's philosophy, the so-called rascal philosophers and scientists, they are calculating God's creation. One of the universe is resting on Anandadev's hood, just like a master seat. Not only that, just say ka nishasita kālama thāvalamba jīvanti lōma vilajā jagadanya nātha. Every universe has got a predominating deity, president. We can understand in every country there is a president to rule over the country. Similarly, to rule over this universe, there is a president, that is Brahma, Lord Brahma. Now the Lord Brahma's duration of life, span of life, you cannot calculate. You can calculate, but it is something like beyond our imagination. Uh, his one day he is uh, four hundred forty-three uh, crores of years, one day. Similarly, one month, uh, thirty days, one month, then twelve months, year, such hundred years. So he lived such hundred years. Uh, <clears throat> so that Brahma lives hundred years in his calculation. That is also a, a pee, breathing period of Vishnu. Jasaika nishasita kala mathavalamba jivanti lomu vilaja jagadannanat. These gigantic universes, they are coming out from the hair holes of the body of Mahavishnu or from his, just uh, like <clears throat> Sometimes infected person, they distribute germs from breathing, from perspiration. That is scientific. Similarly, Mahavishnu's breathing and perspiration within the causal ocean, bringing forth so many universes. And each and every universe there are so many planets, and one of the planets is this earth, earthly planet. So sometimes this earthly planet was thrown into the water, Garbhodak, uh, <coughs> Samudra, Garbhodak Sea, and uh, God took the form of a bow, having two tasks, uh, because it was uh, easier, just like uh, saw value, take something like that. 
he took the or so that is described kitirati vipulatare tishthati tava what is that dasana sikare the this is described in Jayadev's prayer. Vasati dasana sikhare dharani tava lagana. Vasati is resting. Vasati dasana sikhare on the top of the task. Kesavadhita sukara rupa jaya jagadishare. So, he is Jagesha. It is not that his, his shape was just like hog, but he is not hog. Don't misunderstand. Uh, his shape was, but a gigantic hog. You can just imagine what kind of hog he was. The shape was like hog, but he was uh, resting the whole Planet, earthly planet on the on task. Vasati dasana sikhare dharani tava lagna sasini kalanka kesavadhita saukara rupa. Here it is stated saukara. Saukara means like ha, not that he is ha, he is jagesha. He can take any shape, just like here is. God has assumed the shape of a lion, half lion, half man. So he is all powerful. He can take any shape, any form, but he is not that form. That is, for the time being. For the time being, he assumes so many forms. The real form is Krishna, uh, the original form. Kesava dhrita sukara rupa or sukara rupa. My Lord Kesava, you have assumed this form. So there are many millions and millions of forms of God <coughs> according to time, necessity, circumstances. He assumes different forms because <coughs> it is his business. Yada yada hi dharma sagrani bhavati bharata abhutyanamma dharma sa tadatmanam sijamma. He appears as soon as there is uh, discrepancies in the methodical way, uh, another place, indrari bhakulam lokam. Indra, Indra means the heavenly god, and ori <coughs> means enemy. So indrari, the enemy of the king of heaven. That means demons. There are two classes of beings, human beings, in the human shape. Uh, the devata, the osur. Uh, the devata means God conscious, Krishna conscious. <coughs> Anyone who is Krishna conscious, he is devata, demigod. And anyone who is not Krishna conscious, he is demon. This is the difference. Uh, so that demon may be very big or small, <coughs> it doesn't matter. But asurastat viparajaya. Viparajaya means just the opposite. The devotees, they are demigods. And Asura means just the opposite number of devotees. That means non-devotees. Uh, those who are non-devotees, 
those who are not devotees of the Lord, they are all demons. <coughs> so demons are always disturbing. They will create disturbance. Uh, <coughs> that is, their business is to create disturbance in the creation of the Supreme Lord. So this Hiranaka <coughs> and Hiranakosipu, two brothers, uh, they were creating so much disturbances. Uh, the whole world is disturbed only for the existence of the demons, Asuri. Uh, at the present moment also, the world is full of demons. The devotees, their number is very, very small. Just by our Krishna consciousness movement, and we can count within the finger how many we have got Krishna conscious. <clears throat> but demands, non Krishna conscious, non devotees, there is no limit. Uh, innumerable. <clears throat> so, when demands are too much prominent, then Krishna comes. So in the Kali Yuga, He has appeared just like previously He appeared in the form of hog. Similarly, Krishna has appeared in this Kali Yuga in the form of His name. There is no difference uh, between the form and name of God. God is absolute. <clears throat> Nama rupe, in the form of name. So those who are uh, disturbed by the demands may take shelter of this form of God, Hare Krishna. Then he will be saved. <clears throat> Otherwise, the demand will put you within the Pacific Ocean water. Just like this demand. But Krishna will save you. Uh, there is a Prahlad Maharaj was put into the water by his father. <clears throat> so to become Krishna conscious means there will be so many enemies, even father. What to speak of others? They will criticize, they will attack. And I have recently received letter from Germany. Our devotees were attacked by a gang. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, the way. As soon as you become God conscious, the demands will create disturbance. Uh, just like Lord Jesus Christ. He was crucified by the demons. Uh, the only fault was that he was God conscious. This such innocent person. The world is like that. Uh, <clears throat> so these dangers are there, but don't be afraid of. Krishna will save you. Uh, and uh, tolerate. Uh, if there are disturbances, because it is the nature of this material world, as soon as there will be devotee, God conscious person, there will be so many enemies from the side of the demons. Uh, so we have to tolerate. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore has recommended Tinadu Kishuni Chena Taroro Pisahishnuna. You have to chant Hare Krishna mantra against uh, the demons. Just like in Australia, the demons have instituted a case against us, a big case by the city authorities. <clears throat> so what can be done? They wanted to appoint big, big lawyers. I have advised, don't 
appoint lawyers, you go on chanting. They may put you in the jail. So you go on chanting. What is there? You chant on the street or chant on the jail, they are the same thing. <laughs> so don't be afraid. They will take you in the jail. Go on, Hare Krishna. We have got one means. Narayana parasarbe na kutaschana vibhati. Those who are devotees, they are not afraid of anything. Sargapa bargo naraki ishravi tulla artha darshana. Either they are sent in the heavenly planet or in the hell planet. It doesn't matter. We want simply to chant Hare Krishna and remember Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. <coughs> It doesn't matter whether it is in the hell or heaven. So, so Karanga Bhapa. Dityam tu bhavayasya rasatalam gatana mahi. Rasatal. We do not know what are the uh, down planets. This is called Bhūt uh, Bhuvasya. This is Bhulok. Above this, there is Bhulok. Above this, there is Saralok, Sargalok. Above that, there is Janalok. Above that, there is Mahalok. Above that, there is Siddhalok. In this way, seven upper planetary system. And similarly, there are seven downwards. Uh, that is called Tal. Atal, talatal, rasatal, like that. Tal, atal, nital, talatal, rasatal. So, rasatala, the lowest, that means down the water, rasatal. Just like this morning we are calculating the depth of the Pacific Ocean, they are sometimes seven miles. So similarly, that Garbhodakshai, Garbhodak Samudra, that just imagine how deep it is. So within that deep water, the earth was poured, and Krishna, in the shape of Varaha, saved it. So Krishna will save you. Others may disturb you, put you into the difficulty, but Krishna will save you. Be assured. Don't be disappointed. Krishna says, Kontya pratijani hi nami bhakta pranasati. My dear Kontya, you can declare to the world that anyone who is my devotee, devotee means pure devotee, Annabilasita sunnam, without any other desire. The devotee means he wants to serve Krishna, that's all. Not that in return he wants something. He is devotee. Devotion is not business. Sir, I have come to a temple, I am offering my obeisances. Now, my salary is five hundred dollars. Kindly make it two thousand. And that is also devotion, not devotion. Uh, that is appreciation of God, that God can give me. That is also good. But those who are not coming to the temple, uh, they are miscreants. Namanga duskidana murha prapadanti narada. Those who are lowest of the mankind, miscreants, murās, rascals, they do not come even to God for asking something. They think that we shall create our own. But those who are pious, even though asking something from God, they are pious because they have come to God. So these people, those who are coming to the temple for some material, 
uh, ML leaders and uh, they are pious, but those who are not coming, they are duskriti na mūrha narādhama, that is the description. But devotee means he does not ask anything from God. He simply wants to give, that is devotee. Just like gopis, they never ask anything from Krishna. Now, chant. 